Hi YouTube, it's Bethany from Madeline Jean Antiques and Restoration. In this video, I'm gonna show you how I apply one of my favorite top coats. It's by General Finishes. It's called Arm R Seal. Arm R Seal. It's an oil-based top coat. I've been really fancying a gloss sheen as of late. I don't normally, I'm more of a satin girl, but I've been into the gloss. So I'm gonna show you how I apply this and I get a flawless application every single time. So come join me in my finishing room, also known as my laundry room, and we'll get started. First, I'm gonna shamelessly plug my YouTube channel here. If you are new to my channel, I have over 10 years of experience refinishing antique and vintage furniture. I'm completely self-taught. I run a little, little business up here in New Hampshire, and we just got walloped with a ton of snow. It's St. Patrick's Day, and I'm seeing I'm seeing the sun come through my basement here. So spring is on the way. I'm really excited for it. So if you have not subscribed yet to my channel, um, in the lower right hand corner, there's a subscribe button, but not only do you have to do that, you have to go and ring the bell. And once you do that, you will be notified every time I upload a new video, which I'm doing quite often nowadays. So not only do I give tips and tricks about refinishing furniture, I also dabble in a whole bunch of home DIY projects. So go do that. And then I'm gonna quickly show you guys the top coat that I'm talking about, that oil-based Arm R Seal. I did it on this dresser recently, and I did it on this live edge slab piece of wood not too long ago. So I'm gonna flip the camera around. I'm gonna give you guys a close up, and you can see how amazing, gorgeous, sexy this top coat can be. I mean, come on, you guys, look at that. It gives you like a mirror finish. This is the gloss, again. This is a high gloss sheen. And I apply it with a brush look at those results and here it is on the live edge piece of wood again gorgeous 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 all right let me show you how I do this okay guys we are in my laundry room this is also where I do all my top coats just because I can control the temperature in this room so my biggest advice with when applying top coats there are two pieces that you need to pay attention to, not your piece of furniture, not the product, temperature and humidity in your room. So I have a digital thermometer in here. Always read the back of your can, any top coat that you are applying. Make sure you're doing it in ideal temperature settings and humidity. Humidity is huge. So right now I'm working with, it's 67 degrees in this room and I'm at 30% humidity. That's perfect. So before I apply my General Finishes Arm R Seal top coat, I'm gonna be applying this. This is by Zinzer. This is a seal coat. This is a de-waxed shellac. And what this does, it provides a barrier between my freshly stained, uh, top here on this antique dresser when i say freshly stained this one's been drying it's been dry for about two whole days i usually in between staining and applying a seal coat at the very minimum i wait 24 hours i want to make sure that stain is absolutely dry um, the reason why i'm putting this on is to create a barrier i have been dealing with nasty fish eye lately on some of the antique furniture i've been working on um, if you are curious what fisheye is and how I fix that, go back a couple videos. I did a whole tutorial on it. I'm not going to get into it here. So I'm going to first apply this seal coat. I'm going to do two coats of this. I'm just going to show you how I apply it. Um, just one coat and I'll do a time lapse video. And then we're going to get into how I apply that oil based top coat that I was talking about earlier. So let's get started. Okay guys, we're ready to put the top coat on. I don't normally dress like this um, while I'm working, but I just got home from my daughter's musical. So I wanted to get right to this video and finish it up. So 
I'm gonna do the top coat dressed like this. We got this. So I put on the seal coat. That's where we last left it. I put two coats on. Now, after my two coats of seal coat, I will go over that seal coat with 400 grit sandpaper wrapped around a felt block. What I'm doing is I'm knocking down any dust nubs and sometimes, sometimes you get some like overlap streaks, very rarely, but if you do, you're lightly, lightly feather, um, sanding over those areas and then just wipe it clean. I, I go old school. I just use my hands. Um, and it's usually just fine. That's very minimal, minimal, um, dust from this. So then I have my arm R seal in a gloss. And what I'll do is I'm going to open the can. I'm going to pour it in this little glass dish here. And then I'm going to put that can, uh, the lid back on the can as soon as possible. As soon as you expose your top coat to oxygen, it starts to just like ruin it, um, basically. Um, you don't want the can open very long. I, in the past, have made the mistake of keeping my can open while I work, and I really shouldn't do that. So pour it into a glass container, and then I can get going with applying it. So you're probably looking at what's in my other hand. This is a two inch foam brush with a nylon booty over it. Yes, a nylon booty, one of those little footsie things that you put on your feet when you're trying on shoes. I have been doing this method for years. I did an old YouTube video on it and I called it the booty method. Basically what it does is I put the, the booty on like this and I take the top part where your toes would be and I bring it around the back of the brush so I can like hold it, pin it there and what this does and what it has done for me and a lot of people have attested to this that this does work it cuts down any bubbles that may appear when i'm applying the finish so think it's like a mesh netting over the foam brush and it just like pops those bubbles so that's why i do the booty method as i call it so i'm gonna get my arm r seal open i'm gonna get it poured into my glass cup and then we're gonna start putting this top coat on and i'm gonna show you in real time what it looks like Okay, guys, let's do this. I'm ready to rock and roll. So I dip the foam brush in. And what you're going to see me do is I'm going to start from the middle. And I get it going. And I'm going to bring it to the right side. Bring it all the way to the right side. Then I'm coming over at the left side. And I'm going to bring it to the area in the middle, they're gonna meet up. They're kissing. They like each other. Now I'm gonna do one full swoop down the entire piece. That way I know I'm not missing any areas and I got it all down. I'm gonna do the same thing. Start in the middle. This is my second row. Bring it all the way down. I'm gonna dip my brush again. You're only getting a little bit of the product on. Start at the beginning. Bring it to the middle. They're lovebirds. They want to kiss. Bink. And then I drag it one full swoop to the other side. And I keep doing that over and over again. And I'll do this like lean back. Okay, there's a spot right there that I missed. I'm going to hit it. A little bit of poly. It's still workable and I'm gonna pull it all the way over. So right there, you saw I missed just a little spot. I got a little poly on there and then I dragged it over that area. Another thing you need to keep in mind, I'm so adamant about this because it's so important when applying top coats, the temperature in your room and the humidity, you need to know those numbers because it's going to affect how your top coat will lay down and then it's gonna affect your dry time. So if you work in a humid area, let's say you're in Texas, you work in the garage, you need to make sure that humidity isn't too high or you're gonna have trouble with dry times. It might take longer for your piece to dry. Same thing with temperature. You don't want it under a certain degrees. I usually try to get my room here where I apply my top coats 65 and higher. I have a little space heater going. So that's the noise you hear below me. And I get this room up to the temperature that I need it to be. 
So it's pretty simple. I love this top coat. It lays like glass. Okay, I was talking about temperature and my, my video stopped recording. So yes, you just wanna make sure you have an optimum temperature here. So it'll help with your dry time. So just make sure you check your temperature and your humidity before you start working. It's so important. And I was just saying, I love this top coat by Arm R Seal. It, that's what it's called, Arm R Seal by General Finishes. I'll post a link under my video description if you're interested in purchasing. Okay, hey guys, I'm running out of video storage. This video is getting chopped up. I don't like it. Um, I was just saying, they have different sheens. They have gloss, satin, and I've used the satin. I really like the satin as well. But I really like the gloss. I'm favoring the gloss as of late. So you guys, as you can see, it's super, super easy to apply this. The method goes really fast. I can do my top coat in no time. And I usually let it dry um, overnight before I add a second coat. There we go. I almost have, I think like one or two more rows to go and then I'm done with this top. So as you can see, super duper easy. If you have any questions on this method, please leave it in the comment section. Happy to help you guys out. And I can see like I have some bubbles and I love that. I don't have bubbles right now, but like when I go across, I can see like the nylon booty pop them is what I was getting at. I just need to do a little streak there. And there we go. She's done. That easy, you guys. That's how I apply my oil-based poly arm R seal by General Finishes using the booty method. Okay, I wanted to give you guys a close up. Here's after one coat of the arm R seal and the glossy finish. You can see it just looks like glass. You can see it reflecting off the lights in my ceiling. I mean, this stuff is amazing and just gives you a gorgeous, gorgeous finish. Okay, everyone, that concludes this tutorial on how to apply my personal favorite oil-based top coat by General Finishes called Arm R Seal. Like I mentioned earlier, I will drop a link below the video description if you'd like to order some. It's fantastic. I always get flawless results like I used on these dressers here. I'll include some close-up staging photos that I just took last night on this lovely pair. They are for sale, just saying. Wink, wink. Um, you can find me all over social media. I have a Facebook business page. There I have a shop section. So if you're interested in a piece of furniture, I do live in New Hampshire, but I do delivery in New England. I have a truck and an enclosed trailer. So keep me in mind if you're looking for something special. I also do custom work. Um, you can also find me on Instagram here and here on YouTube. So please like, share, subscribe, do all the things that YouTubers do. I appreciate it greatly. The more my video gets shared, the more people that watch it, it just helps my small business grow and my presence out there on the interwebs. So. Little Biscuit and I, we're here to say, what do we say? We say toodaloo every video. It's still a little chilly here in New Hampshire. We're only getting, well, we're getting a little warmer. Today we're in the low 40s. We'll take it, right? But it's still chilly in the basement, right? Gotta wrap you up, your little five pounds. So Biscuit and I say toodaloo until we see you again. Bye guys.